Mary Bastholm was the 15-year-old girl who left home to catch a bus and was never seen again. Her parents were still distraught two years later. Well, she came home about half past six and um, had her tea and sat in this corner where I'm sitting and um, enjoyed the Bernie Winter show. And she went out about um, between ten and quarter past seven with a carrier bag with a Monopoly set in to catch the 25 past or about that time bus. Mary walked from her home through the streets of her Gloucester suburb. She was catching a bus to see her boyfriend. Mary Bastholm never reached the village of Hardwick. And the last that was seen of her was at this bus stop on the main A38 road. And her boyfriend waited. When did you first suspect that something was wrong? Well, as soon as I, uh, she wasn't on, I found that she wasn't on the 830 bus. So I went back home and then uh, asked my sister if she'd run me up to Mrs. Bastom's. And what do you think could have happened? Well, personally, myself, I think she took a lift from someone she knew. This could have been someone that perhaps came into the cafe. Yes, the pop-in cafe. Today it's called The Clean Plate. She worked there. Back then, her colleagues were stunned. Where do you think Mary Bastogne could be now? Well, I think that's difficult to say. can't imagine that she ran away, but um, what can you say? The countryside was scoured. Police divers were drafted in. Two years on, detectives were still desperate for clues. She, we know that she arrived at the bus stop. But from then on, we have no trace of her whatsoever. There was a regular customer at the cafe, Fred West. He was already a killer. He'd murdered his girlfriend, Anne McFall. He was yet to meet his future wife, Rosemary, a teenager he would first see standing at a bus stop. When their double life of murder was discovered, there were attempts to find Mary Bastol. The cafe owner looked in the cellar, finding a rebuilt wall. A diary was found in the cavity behind. The date... 1968. Was it Mary's? Written down a man's name, Fred. At the time, Gloucestershire police said they hadn't enough evidence to justify digging up the cafe. Back in 1970, two years after her disappearance, Mary's boyfriend was still being positive. Are you still hopeful that Mary will turn up? Oh yes, yes, I still am. Uh, well, when I don't still know, I just hope. That was 50 years ago. It is easy to assume, and perhaps it will be proved, that Mary Bastholm was the girl who walked out one night to catch a bus and came face to face with Britain's most notorious killer. Robert Murphy, ITV News.